Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jeremy here with OCE Recycling. Today I'll be showing you what's generally inside DVD-ROM and DVD-Read Write drives, uh, starting with the DVD-ROM drive, of course. Uh, I'll pop in from time to time just to give you a brief explanation on what you're seeing, so for now, just sit back and enjoy. Just checking the top plate with a magnet here, just to make sure it's aluminum or not, and as you can see, it wasn't since the magnet stuck to it. Have a closer look on those chips. Here we have our main chip. Uh, it's an Alley brand, as you can see, and this is the main brain box on the board. Got another chip here. This one's an Elite MT brand, and as you can see, it's clocked at 100 megahertz. This is our specialized chip here, which most likely does all the reading of the DVDs. As you can see, it's fairly chunky. This is our final chip on the board, not positive on what it does, but it has a nice little metal window on the top of it. Got some ABS plastic here that can be tossed in with the rest of your recyclables as long as your single stream program accepts it. our second board in the DVD-ROM drive. As you can see, it only has a motor on it, so we'll just take that off and throw the board in with depopulated boards. And that's pretty much it for the DVD-ROM drive. Not going to fully take it apart just yet. We just have another motor there, a little brass rotary bar that connects to it, some ribbon wires, and another motor in the center there. But aside from that, that's all these things have to it. Just get started on that DVD read write drive. second board out so let's dive in and have a closer look. Here we have our chips. This one's an MX brand made in Taiwan. Here we have an ESMT brand, most likely also made in Taiwan. Here's a Panasonic chip. It's our main brain box. Another Panasonic chip. And here we have another one of those chips with a metal window. Here's a little side-by-side -side comparison of the boards. On the right-hand side, we have our DVD-ROM drive board, and on the left-hand side, we have our DVD-Read-Write drive board. Uh, as you can see, they're both pretty similar in size, but as you saw before, the DVD-Read-Write drive had a lot more going on to it. One of the most noticeable differences I found was that the main action on the DVD-ROM drive was on the top of the board, whereas on the DVD-Read-Write drive, the main action was on the bottom of the board, as you'll see right here. And then all we have is our empty shell for the DVD-Read-Write drive. We just have the other board at the front, which has the motor to control the open and closing drawer. And then we just have our laser caddy, a few other motors, some brass in there, and some ribbon wire. Uh, I'm not going to be taking these shells apart in this video, just because they take a long time and would probably be boring to watch. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you learned a little something. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.